Well, new this morning, this is a great story. Whether you like it salty or sweet, popcorn is a snack that most of us love at the movies or at a community event like all the things happening at Art Town this month. That's right. As Colo 8 News Now's Matt Vaughn shows us, there's a new Reno popcorn company getting rave reviews for their quality, but also for a unique story behind the company's creation. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Dave and Amanda. That's right. When you head out to Art Town events this month, you'll most likely see the Doc Popcorn Stand. Dave and Diana Ravetti started the business not as a side job for themselves, but as a way to give their son Jack some valuable life experience. Popcorn is not only tasty, but it's easy to make. That's why Dave and Diana Ravetti thought it would be the perfect business model for their son Jack and decided to open a Doc Popcorn franchise. The 15-year-old Reno High sophomore has Down syndrome, but he doesn't let that get in the way of things he wants to do. He stays actively involved in school while juggling the responsibilities that come with his new job. I make a lot of money, I do my popcorn, I'm really busy right now. The business not only gives Jack work experience, but it also helps him in school. For example, counting money is something that he can relate to his learning in the classroom. And it's a valuable skill that will always come in handy. Our hope is that this will be a long-term business for him so that he can be self-sustaining and um, be out in the community, you know, having fun and making money for the things that he needs. Dave and Diana are firm believers that people with disabilities should be a part of the community. And that's why they try to get Jack out to public events as much as they can. Reno has so many great events and the first event that we wanted to do was Art Town. So we love Art Town. Doc Popcorn is currently mobile, but the Rivettis hope to find a place that the business can call home year-round. Our long-term goal is for this to be in a, for Doc Popcorn to be in a permanent location here in Reno so that Jack will have a place to go to work every day, not just in the summertime. Jack already has a lot of people in his corner, receiving support from his teachers and peers at school. And while Jack's parents want him to have long-term job security, he's just enjoying the opportunity. It's good. It's sweet. It's, it's perfect. Doc Popcorn will be out at Wingfield Park on Monday and Friday nights during Art Town. In studio, Matt Vaughn. Cool story. Oh, I love it. It's so sweet.